and welcome back to our new video on our channel here. Arthur is super excited because as you can see we have like a coffee shop themed video today and it's actually dog toys. We have these toys from a certain brand at home like for half a year now and they're still alive. That's not so certain with Arthur. He's a little ripper when it comes to toys, especially made from plush or any other fabric. So it's better like something really durable. But we're gonna review these toys and how we like them. Um, so I give my personal opinion as a dog owner. So durability, um, how you can wash it, um, what I think in general about these toys and if they are worth the price. Here in Europe we really pay like a lot for these toys. I don't know if it's the same in the US, but maybe you let me know in the comments. We're gonna review each of these toys, explain you what's its benefits. I say how much I like it, Arthur's giving his stars and we'll probably tell you what's his favorite. So let's get started with the first of these toys. So the first toy we're gonna review is this little cookie rope thing. So it has like this rope, you can pull on it, it's really durable. Um, Arthur tends to like chew on it like really a lot, it's super gross meanwhile even if I put it in the laundry last day. But yeah, um, it's still durable. You can move these cookies around, they're crinky. They also have squeakies inside. The one is like you can probably hear already a little broke. Who was that? Was it you? It's supposed to sound like this, but yeah. I think it's not super spectacular. I mean, it's nice. It has like a squeaky and a crinkle thing inside. And yeah, probably not the most exciting one from the collection, but I'll give it a three out of five stars. And Alpha, what do you think? You like to chew? I think he's also. You're also gonna give it three out of five because the other ones are just doing better. Okay, next one is this. Cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll is also crinky and has also a squeaky. So you can also attach this here and remove it again. It has like this sticky thing on it. And yeah, it's also because, like I said before, Apple loves to chew a lot. And You know, like this, it has like this three functions if you include that you can remove this little strap from it. And it's actually a little bit thick, so for a small dog like Arthur, it's not so ideal, but he still loves it. And it's like, also if you have it like this, it can roll around a little bit and that's what Arthur really likes. How much would you give it? Would you rate it? Also three out of five? Three out of five. I mean, it's not bad, it's just for him a little bit thick and I mean you can throw it, it's almost like a ball. But we really like it. Do we? The cinnamon roll? Yeah. yeah. The next piece is the Puppuccino. It is actually like these cups and you can detach the lid. It is also squishy. And this is also included here. And you have also again this crinkly thing here on top where the with the little paw pattern inside and it says talk to the paw. It's super cute. Arthur loves it, especially he really found out quickly that you can detach the lid. And what he also likes to do is like to move it around like this and he loves it. So Arthur would write this four out of five stars because he really loves it. Even if it's still too big for him, that one is like much more functional than the cinnamon bun. So that's actually also for me four out of five because it's the details, the texture with the whip cord, it's super cute. The next one is the Barcarons, like it's called. I think it's called the Barcarons. And it's like a crinky box with three loose macarons that can pull out. So it's also where you can hide some treats inside for playing and can also have it like this, so crinky and of course these three macarons are 
squeaky. You can hear this is still working. <laughs> but I have to say, I've put these in the laundry leg for three times now and it still works perfectly. Everything is still fresh and fine and good looking and these are really durable. And it's actually perfect for our fur from the size. And you can just place them again inside the box. It's actually cool. He also tends to play with it a lot. I would rate it a 4 out of 5 actually because it's 4 pieces um, for this price and also having like lots of texture. Last but not least, we have the donut. And spoiler alert, the donut itself is not so much fun. It's like a two piece set. Um, the donut has a squeaker inside. It's even two on each side one. I mean, he can grab it easily even with his um, short nose and stuff like that. But um, what he really likes is this. The paper is like again with the sprinkly little thing inside. And <clears throat> so the donut itself would be probably a 4 out of 5 for him. But this is like a 10 out of 5. <laughs> so in general, Arthur would rate this 5 out of 5 on YouTube because I think, I mean, it looks super cute with this pink donut. It's super durable. It has like two squeakers and this thing for it. It's like um, his absolute favorite thing ever. So five out of five for the donut and also for the macaron from my side. From my side is just a four. So we have like this is number one. We love it. Followed by the macarons. And then we have the puppuccino and these are also cool but probably not a favorite i mean i think this is like his least favorite from the collection because yeah the rope is not long enough and so are for any last words from us today <laughs> so in general i would say this toy company is of course a big recommendation from us the toys are super durable, we almost never lost any of it, so like we had just one milkshake from another collection where there was a straw and he, you know, with the chewing, he just destroyed it by chewing it off. But the rest is super durable, we had this like multiple times in the laundry and it still is functional, it's still um, in, for in shape and still working perfectly. So I guess it's a big thumbs up for these. Um, it's up to you if you really want to spend so much money on dog toys because obviously it's in Europe here we pay like really a lot for one piece and yeah but if you know your dog's preferences or if you have a dog who likes to play with ropes or more with these hide and seek toys um, you can decide which one you go for and you don't have to buy the whole collection obviously but in general for the price and the look it gives us, so the optic, it's like really, really nice. Like the diner collection with burgers and hot dogs and it's like super fun just for us humans to see um, how they just translated it into a toy and it's super cute. So I hope we helped you with your decision if you should buy like uh, this special kind of dog toys if it's really worth the money. Um, it's depending a little bit on your dog's preferences. Um, if you have a dog who likes to, to play really wild with ropes and like these Kong toys that are also super durable, made from caoutchouc, that's like something uh, different than these from fabric and with squeakies because I know many dogs tend to bite them until there is no more squeak inside there. <laughs> so. This was um, our review today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let us know in the comments below if we should test something else for you. And I hope we see you at our next video. So have a good time until then. Bye.